Good evening, Dr. Williams, Board Chair Scott, Vice Chair Hen, and members of the board. I'm Kathy Forbes, Delegate of the Maryland General Assembly, representing District 42A. I'm grateful for your service on this board and for the opportunity to once again address you this evening. I'm here tonight to ask you to designate Towson and Delaney High Schools as replacement schools on the CIP request, as they have been for the past two years. I know this is a big decision, so I think it's important that we're all dealing with the same facts. And fact number one is that state funding is not in jeopardy. Contrary to the information presented to you at your August 24th meeting, the IAC will not withhold funds if we do something other than what a feasibility study recommends. And they have never penalized a jurisdiction for choosing to build a replacement school. I shared this with you in writing, and it's been confirmed by Senator West, who also spoke with the IAC. What's more, the IAC does not require you to follow the recommendations of a feasibility study. Counties get to decide what they want to build, and school boards get to set these priorities. The state, through the IAC, is here to support local jurisdictions in the construction of safe, healthy school environments. The information shared with you mischaracterized the work of the IAC. As we are all stewards of taxpayer dollars, there are guidelines, but they are not draconian. Second, I need to point out that a feasibility study tells us what is feasible. It does not tell us what will be funded by the county. And that's a huge distinction. The GWWO feasibility study for Towson High recommends option one at a cost of $131 million. This option is a renovation and addition that adds nearly 500 seats to the state rated capacity, but does not increase the common areas. The $131 million renovation, estimated to take more than four and a half years, does not increase the size of the gymnasium or the auditorium. At the end of construction, Towson High would continue to have the second smallest gymnasium of any high school in Baltimore County, as it was built in 1949. Option two in that feasibility study, the renovation in addition that wasn't chosen, increases the size of the gymnasium and the auditorium, the food ser service areas, and student commons, but it also comes with a price tag of 143 million, more expensive than option three, the replacement school. But to be clear, if you leave the CIP as presented with Towson and Delaney downgraded from a replacement school to a renovation, you are not ensuring that they will get what is feasible. The reality is, Baltimore County has never spent more than $51 million on a high school renovation. And that was in the renovations of Pikesville and Hereford High Schools. Both schools were newer and smaller in size than Towson and Delaney. So it should be noted that the vote you take tonight will not be weighing two fairly equal options. You are deciding whether to build replacement schools or just partial inadequate renovations. What the feasibility study showed us is that any renovation will require replacement school dollars. But what history shows us is that the county won't spend nearly so much on renovations. When you reviewed the Delaney feasibility study, it recommended a renovation option that has an estimated cost of $134 million. This proves that the Delaney community was right to reject the $36 million renovation that was offered to them a few years ago. The scope and funding was woefully inadequate to meet the needs of their students. Another point of that needs correction from your last meeting, you were told that Towson High must be preserved because it is on the Maryland State Historical Registry. That information is not correct. Towson High was given landmark status by the Baltimore County Landmarks Preservation Commission. And Baltimore County has a more flexible approach to landmarking. They are now able to landmark individual elements of a building that are historically important as opposed to an entire structure. So the good news is BCPS can ask the Baltimore County Landmark Preservation Commun Commission to review our status and revise our designation. And based on conversations I've had with members of the commission, the Towson Preservation designation will not be a hurdle. 
Finally, I want to speak specifically about my concerns with my iPass. While it is admirable to want all schools to be touched in the next 15 years, many buildings need more comprehensive work now. And some of our buildings are new. Buildings recently Buildings built recently will not qualify for state matching dollars, which means you give up the opportunity to double your county investment. Let me be clear. When this board voted to build a new Lansdowne High School, I stood and cheered. And when the board voted to fund a replacement school at Dundalk Elementary School, I stood and cheered. I wasn't over here saying they were taking money that should go to schools in my neighborhood or my district. I cheered when they cut the ribbons at Relay Elementary, Lansdowne, Mays Chapel, Lions Mill, and Colgate Elementary Schools. And I cheered this summer when they broke ground at the new Northeast Elementary and Middle Schools. And I'll be there cheering when they cut the ribbons at Red House Run, Summit Park, and Bedford. But now it's still at Towson and Delaney's time. They have waited their turn, and they have been in line. They have been on the five-year capital plan Baltimore County Public Schools has submitted to the state for the last two years. In fact, it got so far that the county executive held a press conference to announce his intention to replace these schools and committed initial planning dollars. He said the schools were in dire need of replacement, and he even suggested that a groundbreaking could happen in 2023. Nobody jumped the line. So I leave you tonight with a question. Towson High was 417 students over capacity last year. And this fall, we welcomed a freshman class that is more than 90 students, students bigger than the class that graduated last spring. It is by far the most overcrowded high school in the county. Exactly how long do you think a 72-year-old school is supposed to wait? Thank you.